Well, this is Blind Gunner, and today I'm going to teach you how to host your own website and your own local machine. Um, this is very simple, um, very easy, quick guide to do it. Um, uh, to do it really, really hard, it would take a lot of your time, and I just really wanted to do a very simple guide. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a program called Exam. Exam is your website host program. Uh, you can download it from apache.com and you also need a router of some description uh, mine is a wireless D-Link router okay they're the only things you need now this is the setting it up the tricky part first thing you need to do is go to noip.org or noip.com you need to go into your noip once you have logged in you need to go add a host you need to add a host name, your last bit of your host name. I usually choose noip.org, so it'll be blah 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 dot noip.org. Uh, DNS host eight for a website. Your IP address should automatically be in there, and everything else is just set. You just click create host, and um, then you can log out. That is the noip of it side done. Now. What you need to do is you need to go into a router. Uh, mine is a wireless D-Link router. Very, very easy. Um, very simple to make a server. Um, first thing you need to go to is you need to go to Home and Dynamic DNS. Once you're in here, you need to click noip.com for your noip. Uh, you have to put in your username and password for noip.com and you have to put in your host name that you made in noip.com. Then you click Apply. The next thing we'll do is set up your ports. Uh, this allows people to come in f in and out through your website. So you need to go to advanced virtual server, uh, servers, and web server. Click on it, click add, and then click apply. Once everything there is done, click tools, and click system, and click save and reboot that will reboot your entire internet so all these settings take effect okay now this is the pretty much the last step that you need to do is you need to go into my computer local to see windows system 32 drivers etc and host now you need to go to notepad and you need to put in your local IP address and your dynamic DNS address or your no IP address. As you can see mine is one two seven one open open one which is default for every single machine and um, put in the the address I have which is order of darkness dot no IP at all. That is the address you'll be using for your website. Now you can save that and close it. Now um, that's everything you need to set up for your server uh, your website but I'm going to show you how to configure your website you need to go if you have a SAMP installed you need to go to into it and click HD docs and that is where all your website stuff will be um, as, you, as you can see um, if you did everything correctly you type in your um, address right um, it should work and mine is my World of Warcraft server uh, website. Very simple. As you can see, that is the background I'm using. It all comes together. Okay, that is basically all you need to have your server running. Uh, to access your website, you also you need to have Xamp running. You need MySQL, MySQL and Apache running, and that's about it. Okay, um, that's Ryan Gunner, and I'm signing out.